Hello my friends and welcome back to another watercolor tutorial all about misty forest landscapes using a sponge. Watercolors today are by Daniel Smith and I have Perlene Green, my favorite, and Lunar Black to darken it up. I found these paint trays on an Etsy shop and thought I'd go ahead and use them. I am using paint straight from the tube today, which I never do because I tend to waste paint when I do that, but figured I'd give it a go. And here are the brushes I'm using, but as always, the materials will be in the description below. So for step one for this misty landscape, I'm soaking my sponge and I'm going to do the wet on wet technique where I wet the entire paper before I lay down any paint. I don't have too much water um, uh, in my sponge because I don't want the paper to be so wet only because I'm adding in more water on top of it. I use mostly perlene green and then I darken it up with some black. I want to get a little bit of my colors mixed on the tray here, but I do pull directly from the wet paint with my damp sponge. Now you might want to be mindful if you're using straight from the tube because you might pull way too much and you don't want to waste any of your expensive paint. Unless of course you're going for that look, then by all means do what makes you happy. I do a bit of a stippling motion here to create texture and then I also lightly, and I say lightly because I don't want to tear my paper, but I lightly drag the sponge across the page. I work in a diagonal motion because I tend to always do that. <laughs> and I tend to favor uh, moving in an upward right side. I don't know why I end up going to the right, maybe because I'm right handed, I'm not sure. Um, and then I continue to stipple and then I also spray my paper as well and the and if you spray or mist your paper while it's still wet you're going to uh, create those really beautiful soft um, almost uh, bokeh like texture because it's going to move the paint away and once I'm happy with that I lay down some trunks and then I will go ahead and fill in some branches now this is just layer one. We have many layers to go. In these tutorials, I like to have a question of the day. I think it's a fun way to connect with you and to get to know you and to get to know me. So my question for today is, when did you fall in love with art? When was your first memory or what was your first memory? For me, it had to have been middle school when I got a camera. I remember my grandmother bought me a video camera and it was, you know, very, very inexpensive. And I was obsessed. I took pictures of everything and I filmed everything and everyone. And I don't think my family liked that very much, but hey, I couldn't help it. <laughs> and then of course that naturally progressed into falling in love with professional photography and getting into uh, taking photos of landscapes and uh, macro photography and when I couldn't get out in the field as much as I wanted I decided to paint landscapes because my obsession with landscapes <laughs> so here we are combining my love of photography painting landscapes and of course filming naturally i would end up doing youtube <laughs> you can add as many trees as you want you can see that i have added lighter values of trees and adding a bit darker values of trees if you want lighter values of trees all you need to do is once you have some paint on your brush stick your brush in water dab off the excess and your paint should be lighter. I did a few darker trees here, but then quickly realized that I wanted the entire base of my painting to be darker. Now you can do that a couple ways. I sprayed my paper or misted my paper and then went in with my sponge and got, picked up some more paint and then just stippled it in from the base and worked my way up. Now I'm starting from the, from the base just because it's the darkest area. But you can also use a watercolor brush or 
you know, whatever you want to do to create it darker. Last tree here, and then you will see how I do the second layer. So as you can see, I just kind of go ahead and do some stippling. And you can add more black, more green, or whatever color you, you, you choose to use. Uh, you can have a cooler uh, misty forest by using blues. Or you can even have some monochrome grays or blacks. They all look quite nice. I alternate between my brush here. If you want it to be very dark, then using a brush might be the way to go because it's going to hold less water compared to a sponge. But of course, not all sponges are created equal. So depending on the sponge you have, you might have more uh, water uh, versus paint. I continue to mist my paper. I do not show that here, but just keep in mind every time I lay a couple of trees down, I mist it. And I do that because I want those branches to feather out because that's the effect that I personally like. And I do take my time uh, when it comes to painting trees because I love painting trees. So I want to take my time and I want to have those beautiful feather-like uh, branches. I also drop in some more paint towards the base just to emphasize maybe there are some trees there, but you can't uh, tell uh, where the trees start and where the trees end. You just see those darker shadows. There we go. There I am misting my paper. I'm adding in my third layer now. And I went in with my brush just to get the the darkest of value of paint that I that I could. And if you want more texture, you can um, take your damp sponge and stipple right over it, and that's just going to create the um, the different. It's going to lift some paint out, but it, then it's going to smush it back in, and you're going to get some really cool, uh, really cool painting textures. If you want to soften it to where you don't have that harsh line uh, at the top there, just go ahead and stick your brush in some water and then lightly dab it off on your cloth or paper towel and then you can blend it in. And then of course continue doing that as you get closer to the base of the trees and then you'll really get a nice soft blend. And continue adding as many or as little trees as you want. Now if I were doing this for a commission piece I would go even darker and probably do another two layers. But if you are finding value in this video uh, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want more. I'm happy that you're here and hope you stick around. But as far as this painting, that is it, everyone. I hope this was easy. I think this is such a fun way to do misty landscapes and hope you give it a try. But that is it for now, my friends. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.